Hi everyone, this is Film Dirt. Let's talk about a fantastic film. It's Dread, released in 2012, starring Carl Urban as Judge Dread, Olivia Thelby and Lena Headey. Pleasantly surprised how good this film was. I remember going with a mate of mine from work, I think uh, we finished early, catch the film on the off chance. Both thinking that it was going to be just a bit of fun, like the Stallone movie. But I remember we both came out of there really surprised and full of compliments for how deep the film went into the Judge Dredd lore and various things that it ended up covering. It was much harder than I think uh, we assumed it would be. There's lots of blood effects, violence and swearing. I suppose it's all that good stuff that mirrors real life, I guess. So that was a nice surprise, all in all. Carl Urban was fantastic as Dredd. I thought he looked bigger than Stallone did. I don't know why. It was He looked over six foot and quite intimidating. Stallone looked over six foot as well. He just looked smaller than Carl Urban did. I don't know why. I think Stallone is wider, probably more well built. But Carl Urban looked great. And the whole look and feel of the film was um, much more open and spacious. A bit like how a city would look. And not in the too distant future where you go outdoors and you see daylight and you see lots of sky and space. It didn't look like there was towering buildings obscuring the view. Like the comics did and the first Stallone film did as well. I think the Stallone film pretty much got the look of the comic book dread spot on. I think it was, it's all towers and everything seems to be built on top of each other. It's, you know, quite a mess and really claustrophobic with loads of people just everywhere. And because they maybe run out of space on the ground, they're using lots of bridges and maybe tunnels as well. I mean, that's what the comic book told me. It was like everything was convulsing and you know about to burst and in this movie it looked like a real place i know they filmed in south africa so a lot of these locations and roadways i'm sure are real with a little bit of uh, digital embellishment in the backgrounds to fill them up a bit it didn't look like mega city one was at boiling point almost if you redeveloped all of the slums and got rid of the scumbags of course it looked like it would be salvageable whereas in the comic you know it was clearly too far gone you couldn't go anywhere with it and you needed to be judge jury and executioner on the spot and take care of issues there and then because do they really have enough cubes to fit every scumbag in i doubt it so here we do what I wanted the Stallone film to do. In my previous review of that film, I did mention I wanted to see Dredd being Judge Dredd. He had to be a cop. He had to hunt whoever he needs to hunt down. If that takes up the whole movie, that's fine. Then he goes on to the next guy. And it's just that robotic nature of the character that we all love. In that movie, he spent most of it banished to the cursed earth. Here we see Dredd. He's going after the Marmar clan. It's just him and his partner. He doesn't need any backup. He's just going to scale the tower in his own time. And this is what we want to see. So let's touch on the apparent similarities this film apparently had with The Raid. I have seen The Raid a while ago. I will need to re-watch it because I recall we were at a home screening with some friends so... Everyone was talking and I'm maybe only half watching the film. I will definitely re-watch the film because I know it's good. And I'll come back here with a review for that. And apparently it turned out this film was actually scripted first. Even though it came out after. So I hear that's on record and there wasn't any copying going on. But the stories are remarkably similar. I think from what I recall, I prefer Dread. It is a cartoony film. And the colour palette is oversaturated, so there's a lot of exaggerated colours and, and contrast. There's a lot of green here, which I'm not a fan of, but they were going for a look. And I liked everything else that came with it, which was the violence, 
the pursuit of justice. He just is relentless. And he had a good relationship with his partner, who's a, a very significant character in the comics, Judge Anderson, who's a psychic. And I guess she's different in that way, so she's also called a mutant. And I don't recall if the word mutant is a is slander or, or if it's a class system, and that word is often associated with an inferior person. I can't remember, but she's a psychic and she's got abilities. And I just love the rogue judges. Um, Judge Lex and the rest of the gang were all superb. Completely believable story where, you know, they can be paid off. And Dredd was onto it, and quickly as well. Judge Lex, played by Langley Kirkwood. I'm not familiar with his films, but he was fantastic here. Really, really believable. And the rest of the cast were great as well. I think we know Donald Gleeson from the Star Wars films and others. And Lena Headey as well. I have to say, she was fantastic as Mama. Really intimidating. Completely believable that her character would be a former prostitute. And would now be the head of a gang. Really nicely developed. And while we're looking at Mama's backstory, I love the little glimpses we get of the other competing gangs. In particular, the judged, which I thought has a nice little story there where these ex-prisoners now paint themselves or tattoo themselves, mimicking judges. I love that. That, that should be developed maybe in a sequel. And looking at specifically this film, I think it really needs a sequel. And I'll also say that I think now is possibly the perfect time to do it. I think what we did here was there's some indications that we're looking at a fairly young dread, maybe year two, let's say, if we're going to use a Batman terminology. Carl Urban does look quite young, even though even today he doesn't look like he's aged at all in, in the last 10 years or so however long it was, where maybe Dredd could be in the very early stages of being a senior judge. If they did a sequel now, that would be a natural evolution of the character. Obviously, Dredd has been around and on the beat for some years. He's very experienced and a lot angry with every everything and everyone. The city would also be more closed in, much more congested and threatening to burst so really i think around now would be the perfect time to do it i believe carl urban would be open to doing it it would be fantastic to get a sequel to this film and keep the same themes that they established in the first now i just want to go back to when this film was originally released it was unfortunately around the time 3D films were, in my opinion, probably outstaying their welcome. I never liked the effect. I think it was really overrated and overpriced. I did try to get into 3D films. I did see Avatar and enjoyed it, but I wouldn't see that film a second time. I think one and done maybe with that one. And I think I saw another 3D film. It might have been one of the children's animations that I went with my son to. And also one of the Transformers films. I think it was the third. Dark of the Moon. And really not liking the film or the 3D effect. Although I think it did work in Avatar. I do think it was overrated. But I always thought that Dread was the best 3D film I have seen. And that is because the story involves drugs. And when you've got the tripping scenes, that's when the 3D effect really fit in with the film. Sequences where all the colours are almost popping out at you and everything looks beautiful. The 3D effect was amazing. And when you're in a theatre with the glasses on in front of the big screen, the effect really worked. And 3D really seemed to have a purpose for being there. I'm not a drug taker, so don't take drugs, kids. It doesn't look this good, I assure you. So another couple of little nitpicks. There aren't many, but I've got a couple. The costumes look great. Everything looks good and had a function and a practicality about it with the biker-style leathers. I do think the helmets were slightly oversized. 
They're so large they look like they're swallowing up the face. Maybe something slimmer would have fit better. And again, for a sequel, that would be a natural evolution where the bodysuits maybe got wider now with an eagle on the shoulder and a slightly slimmer helmet. I mean, there's another reason to go back and redesign everything to look fresh for a sequel. And also another little nitpick was the theme. It didn't really spoil the movie at all for me, but there was no big theme. And what we got here was um, a, a grungy techno mess that was okay in small doses, but there were some big themes in the original Stallone movie, sounding like a march. I think we could have got that here and it would have fit. Not the same theme, but something similar. So overall, love this film. Really enjoyed the cast and really enjoyed the world it developed. And like I said earlier, it needs a sequel. I've seen many reviews for this over the years and it seems to be universally accepted that this is a quality film that was inadequately marketed at the time of release. Me and my friend that I went with, we hardly knew it had even come out. And it was always pushed to the secondary pages. I mean, it's a fantastic film. It should have been the film of that year. And for a score, for me, it's definitely five stars. And I'd love to see more of this as well. If not in film, then maybe a TV series or special. So, producers, let's make that happen. <laughs> and that's my review of Dread. And I'll leave you with a little bit about myself. I'm a completely unbiased reviewer. And I don't accept any free tickets for my reviews or any bribes. And I'm not in any of their marketing schemes with timed reviews. Nothing like that at all. All of my reviews are completely genuine. Thanks again for joining me. It was great to speak to you. And I look forward to having you back for my next review. You can do that by subscribing to this channel. Just like they always say. Thanks again. Speak to you soon. Take care.